Um, we imagine that there will be a more adequate complement of players next year when LSU takes the field. When they do, they'll do so with Mike Dimbrock as their offensive coordinator. LSU made that official over the weekend. We had speculated about that for some time here on these airwaves. It just kind of felt like since nothing was happening, you felt like LSU was courting someone or had an agreement with someone who had something to play for, whether that's in the NFL or with a big-time bowl game for wherever that school may be. Cincinnati certainly qualified for that as they made their first playoff in school history, and Denbrock was on the sideline for them, and that one as Alabama dispatched them pretty quickly. But Denbrock was announced immediately after that to be LSU's offensive coordinator. So we've kind of talked about Mike Denbrock's um, coaching career, his resume, a lot of it linked to Brian Kelly back to their days at Grand Valley State in the 80s, uh, certainly at Notre Dame very recently in the 2010s. Uh, and he had moved on to Cincinnati where he had been the offensive coordinator. Denbrock has been a GA. He's coached the offensive line. He's coached running backs, wide receivers, quarterbacks. He's called plays. He's been a defensive coordinator. He has been all over the place uh, in terms of what he has coached on the field. He's been at Grand Valley State, Michigan State, Illinois State, Stanford, Notre Dame, Cincinnati, all over the place there as well. Uh, a football lifer and certainly a very respected uh, coaching mind that, and one that Brian Kelly was exceptionally comfortable with. Now, what I noticed when I was looking through the resume and, and going through what he had accomplished in his career, is you see that he's brought on to Notre Dame. He coaches tight ends in 2010 and 11. Then he moves to wide receivers in 12 and 13. This is all under Brian Kelly. Then in 14, he becomes the offensive coordinator. Then in 15, he's the associate head coach and over at wide receivers and eventually leaves to be an offensive coordinator at Cincinnati. So my question is, why... Did Brian Kelly hire Mike Denbrock to be his offensive coordinator, and then the next year he was relieved of those duties? What happened there? So I went and did a little bit of research and a little bit of digging. What happened, and it was actually after Notre Dame beat LSU in that Music City Bowl where Fournette runs the the kickoff back. You'll remember that game. Um, Denbrock was the offensive coordinator then, and after the National Signing Day in February that followed, he was relieved of those duties, and they went and made a new hire. They hired Mike Sanford from Boise State. So I went and said, why? And this will probably sound very familiar to you if you're listening. Brian Kelly is quoted when Sanford is hired about replacing Denbrock and keeping him on staff as the wide receivers coach and associate head coach. Here's Kelly's quote. Mike Denbrock and I had a long conversation about this. We agreed at the end that what we were looking for was somebody that could turn the room upside down. We didn't want someone to be equal. Does that sound familiar to you? That's exactly what Ed Ogeron and Steve Ensminger did with Joe Brady. And it sounds like that's exactly what they want. They wanted someone new, youthful, with an idea of how to handle modern college football and modern offense. And that's what they wanted to do. Sanford was 32 years old. He had been at Stanford, he had been at Boise, and they brought him in to run the offense, and Denbrock was on the staff with with Kelly and he for for a year, and then moved on and started calling plays over at Cincinnati, where they've put up uh, incredible numbers. They've had Desmond Ritter, and they've won a ton of games. Ritter's a top five all-time in in wins as a college starter. And Denbrock was piloting that ship um, for Cincinnati, now he's going to come coach at LSU. He uh, we'll turn 59 later this, 58, sorry, 58 later this month. Um, so as far for me, I think it's fine. I think it's a fine hire. It's somebody he definitely trusts. It's somebody he's had a lot of experience with. Um, it's a guy who has certainly run a spread up-tempo offense at Cincinnati, not somebody out of the dark ages, even though he's a little bit older than some of these younger minds that have been hired to run programs. So, I'm okay with Denbrock. I think a lot of people will look at Cincinnati's um, effort against Alabama and say, what do you want that guy for? They couldn't even score a touchdown. And, like, I do see some of that. You had a as as veteran a QB as you can have, a month to prepare, couldn't do anything, get anything more going on offensively. You are kind of running the Kentucky Derby with a mule. Um, We'll talk a little bit later about Cincinnati's merits and what the playoff looked like and all that kind of stuff. But, um You know, that one game doesn't drive me off a cliff. I wish it looked a little bit better. But they did spread the field. They did motion. They did try some things. It's just, it's tough to block Will Will, uh, Will Anderson and and those guys with what Cincinnati's got. It's just not a fair fight. 
And it's not a fair fight most of the time when Alabama plays anybody. It'll be a fair fight next week on the 10th. But it's not most of the time, and it certainly wasn't with Alabama. It's just the nature of the beast. So I'm okay with the Den Brock hire. I, I welcome your thoughts in the Bayou Ford chat over on YouTube. Um, it, it doesn't blow me away. Would I rather have Lane Kiffin or Lincoln Riley running my offense? I would. I would. Um, but I think that Den Brock is a solid hire, somebody that Brian Kelly is very comfortable with, and obviously somebody that, uh, that wants to make this move up up to the SEC. And so uh, he's been known as a very good recruiter in his time. Uh, that's obviously a plus. And we'll see what the uh, what the LSU offense looks like moving forward. It should be pretty interesting on uh, tomorrow night. Potentially a wide receiver taking snaps that Mike Denbrock will be LSU's offensive coordinator when LSU takes the field against Florida State uh, next year. And I think Southern actually is the opener. I should probably know that as someone who works for the network, but off the top of my head. I do not. So um, that is uh, kind of our look at the Mike Denbrock hire. I just wanted to look at the, the circumstances as to why he was quote unquote replaced uh, with Brian Kelly at Notre Dame. And it seems like they just wanted a, a youthful, innovative mind. And now that Denbrock's been around him and done a little bit of that at, at Cincinnati, ready for this challenge. So away we go. Mike Denbrock, LSU offensive coordinator. Thanks so much for watching Hun Hill on YouTube. Now do us a favor. Hit the red subscribe button below and throw us a like. We'll see you next time.